Hey there guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kyle with Being Bethunes and uh, we take you around this good old country of ours and uh, show, you the, show you the world or at least this country through our eyes and uh, we grow through life with you. And uh, more than anything, we appreciate you being here. But yeah, today guys, we are pulling out of here out of Convent, Louisiana. We're gonna be trekking a little bit west, mostly north. We're gonna be heading up to Shreveport is the ultimate destination and goal for this video and for this day. But we do have a fun little stop planned a little later in the day. I don't wanna announce it yet because it's not 100% certain because it is a bit up there and we're still not even packed up yet. But I do think it's gonna be a good day. It's absolutely gorgeous out here. A little nippy, honestly. It's probably in the mid to upper 50s right now, but uh, I'm not gonna complain. So uh, let's get this adventure started. First and foremost, we gotta, I gotta get this outside area packed away. I got the, got the old Starlink out here. I, um, the kids do in school and I had to upload videos. Usually it takes two internets because between Molly and Ben, they, they use up a lot of the bandwidth. Got to put away the Blackstone, which I did use. I didn't really plan on taking that out for these short. Oh, hello. Hello, how's it going? It is going. I'm uh, discussing what I got to pack up or what we got to pack up. Oh, well, we packed up the inside already and did the dishes this morning. Yeah, so I'm I... sure we can also pack up the outside too. Yeah, I gotta. I, I normally don't plan to take the Blackstone out for these short little stays, but I don't know. It's just I've gotten so used to cooking on that thing and I, I just really love it. So I've really been trying to keep this thing as nice as I can. I want it to last a while. I, I have a, a friend of mine has one and he's had it for two years. So he's taking good care of it and it's lasting him a couple years. So hopefully I can get the same amount of service out of mine as he has his. Because I, I do plan to, because I really, really enjoy cooking on this thing. It makes, it just makes some things so much easier. So just trying to keep it clean and uh, hopefully get some uh, good service out of it. All right, guys, we are rolling out a poachy plantation here in Covenant, Louisiana. We, uh, been a nice stay here. You know, it's kind of off the beaten path a little bit, which is okay. You know, I'm not super, that's not a huge deal. You know, I think there are worse tragedies Three in miles. the world. Turn right onto LA 3214. Actually, it's supposed to turn right out of there, but I, there's no way I was going to make that sweep. But anyways, yeah, we're headed up towards Proceed Shreveport to today. Route. Oh crap, it's wanting me to reroute, but I may... Proceed to the route. I may whip around... Proceed to the route. ...in this parking lot real quick. Um, Proceed to the route. Yeah, I think I'm going to whip around this parking lot, head back that way, because this is going to take me quite a bit of ways outside of uh, the way I really need to be going, so... It's a church. Hopefully they don't mind. Proceed to the route. Yeah, as I shared earlier, we will be trying attempting to make it up towards Shreveport today. Uh, and then we'll be driving on in toward Dallas area tomorrow. In three miles, turn right onto LA 3214. Um, so we got, we've got a little bit of traveling to do. It's okay. Weather looks beautiful. I think it's mid 70s today. Sun's shining. Uh, everything looks good. So it should be hopefully a good drive day. Uh, we do need to stop and grab some fuel here in a bit. Uh, pretty probably sooner rather than later the van is running a bit low so yeah that's, uh, that's what we got going on and uh, we'll pick you guys up here in a bit well I have pulled off here just outside of Baton Rouge to fuel up the bus they had I saw a pretty good price on diesel uh, 359 a gallon so I think that's pretty good I haven't seen it any cheaper than that or really even anywhere close to that cheap as far as a truck plaza goes so probably don't need a lot of fuel but while we're here why not because we are about to hop on a state highway for a bit and get off of the main interstate making our way up towards Shreveport so I only put hundred and fifty dollars on it that should give me that should fill me up pretty good I've never had that happen before I, it clicked it gave four dollars then it clicked off and it wouldn't re-engage so I, I did put it back on after that to see if I reset it, but no, you didn't, it, just stopped it just stopped working. I don't, I don't know. And they were about it. I mean, it looks like their pumps are pretty dated here, but whatever. We're fueling now. Well, it took all $150. That should be, that should get us pretty close though, because which I don't know. We did, I haven't filled up since east of Tallahassee. Oh wow! Right? Have I filled up since then? I don't. 
I don't know if I did or not. The days blend together. Yeah, I don't know. Anyways, we gotta, we gotta keep trucking. Ooh, hey there. I got me a free soda for filling up, so that's pretty cool. I'll take it. Chico move. Come on, Chico. Chico go. Chico go. All right, so we gotta hop back on the road here. We're on this road here, seven, LA 76, I believe for about 50 miles. Got 183 miles total, probably around three hours drive time left. So beautiful day to be on the road though. The wide open road. There is just, I really feel like not much better than the wide open road, just getting to drive. Um, I'm not an interstate girl. I'm a back road kind of gal. I enjoy being on the back roads as opposed to um, being on the interstate. I think you just see more, you experience more. And where we're headed, I'm pretty freaking excited about. And we wouldn't be able to go here if it wasn't for uh, on a back road. So yeah, we'll uh, catch up with you shortly. Well, we have made a little detour here to Gator Country. More specifically to Louisiana, Louisiana Gator Country, Alligator Park. It's a roadside attraction just off of I-49. I saw it yesterday on Roadside America. And I figured, you know, we have to stop. Why not? Because we stopped at one of these a couple years ago. We had the best time. So this one looks pretty promising. So I'm pretty excited to check it out. Are you guys going to be able to follow those rules? Maybe. Yeah. No shirt, no shoes. No problem. no problem. Persons not obeying the rules of the park will either be eaten or either be eaten or asked to leave. I like it. So right inside the door here, this fellow is missing part of his top part of his mouth. Yeek! Yikes! Oh, look at these babies. Wow, those are little fellows right there. Oh my goodness! Look at them. They're so it cute. And they got a big fella up here. Uh, looks like they've already claimed somebody's hand, maybe. That's not good. So, that, so, you, know, so you don't stick your hand in, the mouth, in their mouth, okay? Uh, that's, I don't know, that's, that's not too comforting right there. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. So are you guys excited? Yeah. No. Are you excited, Jen? Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> wow. It's free gator food. I didn't know it was free. Nah, wow. Mom's a fake snake. Not cool. Look at this gator. That's more my speed right there. So as soon as we turn the corner, look at this. Look at this guy right there camouflaging in. Oh my god. And look over here. There's more down the bank right here. I don't know if you can see them, but. There's one right there, and then there's one to its left. Look at we got a gator down here made out of tire, old tire treads, it looks like. I bet he's kind of tired. <laughs> wow. We got a guy over here on his dock or on his porch holding the gator. Looks like he's been maybe drinking a little bit of a little bit of shine down there. Go ahead and uh, take care of business here, my. Uh, Oh, I gotta take my hat off. Oh, you look really cute. I like it. I look like a natural? Yes. Good. Jungle Island. Welcome to the jungle. I don't know how seaworthy that little boat right there is. I don't know if I'd trust that in the bayou. Oh. 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 Oh, yeah. I get the same thing when I walk in. You can't see it. Oh, no. It's okay. It's not gonna get you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Daddy, look at this. Snake. No. Snake I'm like cringing oh, I right now. I love the snake. No. And it's dark in here too. That makes it even worse. Oh, I love so is that a python? Yeah. Dad. Oh. This is a coastal carpet python. His name is Danny Phantom. Oh, God, they just make me cringe, guys. Like, I am freaking terrified of them. This is another coastal carpet python. Ooh, look at him. 
Oh, he's yeah. gross. Look at that head. No, I hate him. Oh, he's so cute. What is? Oh God. Oh God. You may as well just. I'd be dead. Like he would eat me because I would just die. This is a, a ret reticulated. He's moving. Oh hell no! Oh look at the snake up there. Oh, that was not a lie. I used to eat at a restaurant called the Green Iguana. Yeah. See, those don't bother me as much. They, they look pretty chill. There's one down there under the heat lamp. Here's the big ones. My God, that thing is huge right there. Look at him. Or her, I don't know, it could be a her. I don't, I don't know, I don't know the difference. Wow, that is a big gator. Oh yeah, his tail got cut off. Oh my God. Look, I mean, there's probably two foot of his tail in the water there. Ooh, I love how they eat. I better not eat my camera. You like feeding the goats? I love feeding the goats. Here you go, little goat. They got horns on that thing. I, I kind of just dropped it. You're just a tutus, little goat. The horny goat. It's a horny goat. <laughs> this one right here wants some. I don't know. Not only do they have reptiles, they got some chickens around here too. They got some chickens, got some some bunnies. Got a family of uh, ducks coming here out of the little pond. I wonder if they sit here and taunt the gators all day. I, I'm sure I would if I was one of them. Oh, look at the bunny. You could sit there and feed them all day, couldn't you? Yes, I could sit here and just feed animals all day. It's, Jen, it's Jen's happy place. Look at this big guy. He's got a, he's, he's like awake, his eyes are open. He just opened his mouth a little bit. He doesn't have a, your hat. he doesn't have a ton of teeth though. <coughs> he is, like there's probably again, another two foot of tail in the water. He falling back asleep though, his eyes are closed. <laughs> I guess that's what they do. They, they lay around and sleep all day. Yeah, I mean, they're gonna eat at four, so. They sleep, you know. they eat three times a day and then they sleep. I think it's so cute. Yeah, that, that's a no for me right there. And then there's a turkey. Hello, yeah, there's just a random turkey out here walking around. Hi, how are you? Go tap him, go tap him out. Does he want food? I think he wants food. No. He's like, oh, he wants your bag. Like, he knows you got the food. Oh, that's my, excuse me. Daddy, can I give Daddy, Maybe he thinks Daddy, you're a cheetah. Daddy, can I give him all my things? What are you doing there? I, give him a turkey. I guess you could throw a little bit down there for him. I'd be careful, Mom. Don't feed it to him. Stop. I already fed some food. Good, he clearly didn't want it. He's just being a turkey. This is like, no, this is, oh God, look how big he is. Imagine if I met him a bit. Like he is wrapped, you know, he starts over here and then he comes all the way back here and then wraps underneath and goes dang near all the way back to the front. Oh God, they try it. Ugh. Let's see what kind he is. So he's a Burmese python. Semi-aquatic and good climbers can weigh up to and more than 200 pounds. They stalk their prey using a chemical chemical receptors in their tongues and heat sensors along their jaw. Oh God! They actually have a timber rattler in there. Oh God! Look at him. Timber rattlesnake. His name is Lightning. Oh, look at him. Just a just a evil looking snake. See his little little rattler right there. Yee. Here's an eastern copperhead. It's a little guy there. Yeah, I, I feel like we live in our bus and travel. So oh, you're from the bus people. Yeah. You like him? Yeah. You got on you. I don't know. He's Mushu. Mushu? So it's a bearded dragon? Yep. Oh my god. So it just kind of sits there, huh? Yep. Oh, he likes my hair. I feel like, oh, I thought you really want something like a <gasps> hat. Oh, he really likes my hat. <laughs> okay, where are you at? Where are you at? You want Mushu? You're good now? You're happy now? Oh my goodness, look at Mushu's so happy. <laughs> oh god. So, what kind of snake is that? Corn snake. Corn snake. Huh. He's trying to find his way somewhere. Yeah, trying to get warm and comfy. Oh. Oh my gosh. So what do you think? You're so cute. Daddy, hold your snake. 
Look at his tongue. Oh, I love him. <laughs> yes! Turn around. Okay. Okay. Oh, hello. Here, I'll take my hat off. There we go. Oh my goodness, I love you. Look how handsome. Yeah, his name's Clyde. Hi, Clyde. Hi, Clyde. Hello. Oh, hi. And this pond over here that's 12 feet and 600 pounds. Oh, that's a big guy. Pretty much in here, or even the marsh over there. Oh, wow. Look at them. Oh, my just goodness. Can't have these guys in with the big ones. Cause yeah, because then they'll get eaten. That was cool. They're a lot. He was a lot. They were a lot. He was a lot softer than I thought. Oh, here's some big old uh, rabbits right here, fresh off the Easter holiday. Oh, look at that. that's a big one. They're, they're so cute. So, did you like holding the gator more, or the snake more, or the bearded dragon more? All of them. All of them. I want to hold them all, all again. They were just. I love animals. Oh, look at the tortoises. They're nomads. They bring their home wherever they go. Yeah, they're like little. A little shell. How are you today? The feeding show is going to be back here. Oh wow, I see some big ones. Oh my god. Oh, there's also a plane crash out there too. Like I wonder, how, I wonder if they got off okay. Guys, look at these freaking alligators. Holy crap! Look at him. He's like climbing on top of that one. That's like Eloise on top of Chico, man. Look at that thing. For a million dollars, would you jump in there and try to swim across the other side? No, I would die. You wouldn't do it for a million dollars? No. Would you? I'm a pretty fast swimmer. But I think we can do a little bit. How we doing? Doing good. That's better. Awesome. Well, thank you all for coming to Gator Country today. Boat is Sam on the boat over there. Hey, Sam. Sam is one of our employees, which means that he was the one that teached me how to properly handle these guys and properly feed them. Big Lou is that huge guy oh right here, kind of looking like Godzilla in the water. He is by far the largest alligator There's we have Big in this Lou park. Right he's about 12 feet, or 13 feet, 5 inches. 13 feet, and 5 inches. And he's wow. also about 70 years old. Usually leaves and grass and stuff like that. And she's going to pile it up into a huge mound. And she's going to lay anywhere from 30 to 40 eggs. Yeah, that's actually pretty much the number one answer. These guys are cannibals. They can't will eat each other. Big Lou right there, that huge guy, he will gladly eat his own kids. He doesn't care. There's Big Lou getting, getting his own. getting his share. Oh, my God. That's crazy. So with those are our Christmas game to check out the feeding the show. Be more specific, yeah, Big Lou's kind of a pig. He, like, he just specific, keeps going in right? for uh, seconds, thirds, fourths, and fifths. Which basically means bonus. They got a they got an alligator coming out of the side there. So I've been watching old Jacob the carpet beggar for a while and he's got me wanting to get me some penny souvenirs here. So here's your option. I'm gonna go for the uh, turtle, or I'm sorry, the alligator here. So all right. Yes, I did. There it is. I got the gator. You know what it looks like? I love it. Logo on clothes. Yeah. Oh, the Lacoste. Huh? You owe me three quarters in the penny. Not gonna happen. All right, let's go. Right here. <laughs> well, I guess I think that's going to wrap our time up here at the uh, Gator Country. That was so awesome. They did such a great job. Definitely stop by if you're ever on Interstate 49 heading north or south. It's a really cool stop in, I'm going to butcher the name, Nacha. Not just something. I'll let you guys know in a minute, but such a cool stop. I, uh, and a really cool park. The staff was awesome. I do got to show you guys something real quick. So when we were rolling in, we were about to walk in the thing. Jen opens the door 
the wind catches it and slams it into the mirror and busts the glass. Poor old Blue Betty, man. Like, I'm just trying to keep her together till we can get out to Tucson and get the other bus done, but <sighs> what are you gonna do? But, all right, we got, a, we got about a little over an hour left to get to. Uh, we're staying at a casino, Margaritaville Casino in Shreveport, Louisiana tonight, so. Oh, it's a Margaritaville Casino? Yeah. Are we having a hot date night? I don't know about that yet. But uh, I'm ready to get there, so we're gonna get moving. All right, we are rolling out of Gator Country here. As they pull, as we were pulling off one of the main roads, they had this old schoolie painted up like an alligator. That was pretty cool. Looked like I've been there. Here, cut off road for three quarters of a mile. Looked, looked like I'd been there for a while, but that was a great stop. That was a, that was a lot of fun. I, we like I said, I, we did this a couple of years ago, but I think this park or this place was much better, um, honestly than that one was so we're super glad we stopped a lot of fun i i know the kids had fun and enjoy themselves and jen any chance she gets to pet an animal she's there for it so anyways we're according to the map we're an hour and five minutes away 71 miles we got about 10 miles to get back to the freeway and once we get off the free one to the freeway it should move by pretty quick but it's just about five o'clock and uh should we get there in a little bit and uh I'm ready to chill. It's been a, been a pretty long day. I'm ready to get there. Well, this is what a the bus looks like after a travel day. Crap on the floor, crap on the counters, literal crap everywhere. Yeah, but make sure the kids just getting up, grabbing stuff, not putting stuff away, and or crap falling everywhere. I do think that's going to wrap it up for this one, though, guys. We had such a great day going to the alligator gator country there. Uh, that was so much fun. Um, I just thought that about roadside attractions. I just absolutely love them. But as you can probably tell, I'm exhausted. Been a long travel day. Been on the road a long time. Next video, I pick you up. I'll show you our accommodations where we, we're staying. But other than that, guys, I think it's going to wrap me up. So don't worry, though. We'll be back here in a couple days with another old video. And uh, until then, guys, take care of yourselves and each other. And we love you. Bye-bye.